as the governor outlined, uh, this begins on Monday night with a package that was delivered to a residence in Westchester County that was responded to by the Westchester County Police, the Bedford Police, um, and FBI Special Agent Bomb Technicians. That package was disrupted and taken to the FBI lab. Overnight, late last night, uh, we received word of the package that was delivered to the Clinton residence or was intercepted before delivery to the Clinton residence in Chappaqua, New York. Um, that is also going to the FBI lab. Uh, after that, uh, we were notified by the Secret Service that they had received uh, a nearly identical package uh, in Washington addressed to the Obamas. At that point, uh, we began to take um, additional proactive steps. We had gone to locations the day before associated with the first individual who was targeted. Today we went out to offices of elected officials, uh, media outlets, uh, television, and in fact, when the package was discovered here in the CNN mailroom, uh, we had NYPD personnel present who were showing them uh, what these look like and what to be on the lookout for. So uh, at this point, uh, we are talking with other FBI field offices, the JTTF, uh, about other incidents that are unfolding in other places. But suffice it to say, it appears that an individual or individual sent out multiple similar packages. Uh, we have been working with corporate partners and the private sector. We have prepared a product through the NYPD Shield program, which goes to approximately 20,000 of our private security partners, uh, instructing them on what to look for, what the characteristics are, and um, renewed tips on, on handling of suspicious packages. At this point, we're at a very early stage in the investigation. This is being led by the Joint Terrorism Task Force here in New York City uh, with the FBI, the NYPD. We've had assistance uh, from the New York State Police who are part of that task force and assistance from uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. So uh, it's a big group effort. The incident here today, uh, once the package was discovered, emergency service was notified. They called the bomb squad. The bomb squad was able to safely remove a device contained in that package using the total containment vessel, the TCV, or in simple terms, the bomb truck. Uh, that has gone to our range at Rodman's Neck, where FBI Special Agent Bomb Technicians will work with our people on how to get it to the next stop, which should be the FBI lab, so all of this evidence can be examined together. There is an additional issue, which is being worked on now, which is within the package that contained the suspected device, is also uh, some kind of powder uh, that's being tested now downstairs. So. The mailroom area is still being contained while we go through the various steps to um, test that uh, on a field test, package it up safely for removal, um, and decon that area and anybody who came into contact with it. Governor, earlier this week, the president um, commended a now city congressman for assaulting a journalist. There's been all sorts of threats to, to journalists and if you choose over this year. Do you have a particular message to President Trump in light of what happened at CNN and to critics like John Brennan and like Hillary Clinton? Look, I'm just going to say something broad because at a time when there's a lot of hatred and division, it does not make sense to exacerbate it. Let's just say this to all public officials of all partisan affiliations. Don't encourage violence. Don't encourage hatred. Don't encourage attacks on media. Uh, you could disagree but you have to show respect for people and air your disagreements peacefully. So unfortunately, this atmosphere of hatred is contributing uh, to the choices people are making to turn to violence. There's no question about it. And the way to stop that is to turn back the other way, to bring down the temperature, to end any messages about the use of violence against people we disagree with. And that has to start at the top. This is a political year, it's a political season. We are weeks from an election, and that's obviously in the air, and that's an obvious fact. Uh, but we've been through many political seasons, and we have political differences, and that's actually good for democracy. What is not good is overheated rhetoric, 
uh, extremism that pushes people to violence. And at the end of the day, we may have political differences, but this is one country, we're all Americans, e pluribus unum, out of many one, and keeping the debate and the dialogue civil uh, is very, very important. And for elected leaders, who in many ways set the tone, it is especially important. What he 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 what he hold on, hold on, hold on, right there. Can you describe what the device looks like that was found? John? Sure. Uh, Brian Parman from FBI JTTF. Uh, so far, the, the devices have been what appear to be uh, pipe bombs. As you've heard, there is a, a number of devices, and there's a pattern, uh, apparently, for the number of devices. We wouldn't be at all surprised if more devices show up. Uh, a device has been sent to my office in Manhattan. Uh, which we were just informed about, uh, and that device is also being handled. So again, uh, this is a situation. Uh, a number of devices have been sent. They're being handled. We wouldn't be surprised if additional devices are sent. And the device that has uh, been sent to my office has been identified and is being handled as we speak. Is it related to these other ones? Are they related? Well, terrorism related, right? Terrorism is an attempt to strike terror, an attempt to strike fear. Uh, obviously, these devices are an attempt to strike fear, hence terrorism. Now, are they domestic? Are they international? These are all questions that would have to be handled by the investigation. But yes, it was uh, a terrorist uh, attempt. It was a terrorist attack. And as you said, what's the intent? To strike fear. And when they strike fear, they win. That's when they are effective. Who controls that? We control that. We control that. This is not the first time we have been through this. We have been through this many, many times. Literally, as I mentioned before, it goes back 25 years to the first World Trade Center bombing. This is New York. It is part of who we are and part of our profile. Uh, so we refuse to be intimidated. We refuse to allow them to uh, make us afraid of going through our daily lives. We have the best law enforcement agencies, we're all working together, we're all here, and we're going to go about our daily lives enjoying this beautiful city and state, uh, and we're not going to let them win, period.